Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. This one, we're going to be working with wipes. Yep, video transitions, not baby wipes or any of that kind of stuff, guys. Now, I'm going to show you how to apply a wipe transition, and more importantly, I'm going to show you how to uh, change the direction of the wipe. And this is a very, very commonly used um, style of transition, especially in the, uh, I guess you'd say in the, the gaming world. There's, you know, you want to have those fast, kinetic, hyperkinetic type transitions well here is one of them in Adobe Premiere Pro I'm in Premiere Pro CC 2020 I believe version 14.0 yes version 14.7 the latest build and let's get right into this guys I've dropped two videos into the timeline as you can see here so video one of a girl jogging video two of a house I did this on purpose these are just free videos uh, the reason why is because there's going to be a, there's a very obvious transition between the two types of shots. So I'm going to again, let's get started. The first step is you'll probably be in the editing workspace by default in all probability. The next step you want to do is you want to actually left click on the effects up there at the top. When you do that, you're going to see in all probability, you're going to see the effects here on the top right. I'm going to go ahead and drag this down because I want a little bit more real estate. Now, if you guys do not see this effects up here or anywhere on any of your panels, just go up to window and make sure there is a check mark beside effects if you don't see it. So there we go. The next step, if you're following along, is you want to go to your effects and then you want to go to video transitions. Drop that down and at the bottom, well close to the bottom, pardon me, you're going to see wipe. So this is what you'll see here. I'm going to go ahead and drop that down to wipe. And then there are four different types of wipe in the default. I'm going to go ahead and just use the regular wipe. Now, I am going to drag and drop that in the middle. So the transition is a little bit on the left side, a little bit on the right side. This is called a center cut. And that means the transition is going from one to the other. It also says insufficient media. There will be some uh, repeated frames. That just started popping up in the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro. I think that's just an error and they're going to fix that. So just ignore that. Um, now, when I'm over here, you're going to notice here that as I get closer, the transition starts here. So the wipe goes from left to right. Now, in a lot of cases, that is the, well, that's probably the most popular one. And that might be the one that you're looking for. If that's the case, guys, video is over, job done, you've got your transition on there. If it is not, left click on the wipe. You'll see here, if I go in a little closer, You'll see here it says wipe, and then it obviously shows you the transition. Left click on that. This is going to load up under effects control. And let's go ahead and make this a little bigger. Okay. You'll see up here at the top left that you've got these directional arrows. And when I hover over them, you can select them. What this does is this determines the arrow that you click determines where the wipe comes from. So the default is west to east or left to right. Let's go with east to west. Watch this. You're going to see here as I wipe over, as it goes over the transition, it is now coming from right to left or west to east. Cool. Hey, if you want to have a top-down wipe, let's go ahead and click the top there, which I just did. This is the top uh, arrow. And then bang, the wipe comes from the top and it goes down to the bottom completely changes the transition guys and it's that simple you can even have it coming from like one corner let's go from like the bottom left corner and watch this you want to have your wipe come in from the bottom left corner very cool totally different guys that is the main component to the wipe transition guys i hope this tutorial helped you out i've got a ton more stuff coming up stay tuned be back soon 